Burning and bleeding, baby. Burning and bleeding. Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days to Die and Alpha 20. I'm an old guy gaming, and it is our very first Horde Night in Alpha 20 uh, on this Let's Play series. I actually have done a couple of Horde Nights on the multiplayer server, but uh, first time attempting it uh, alone. Uh, I do have the Horde set to 32 Zombies per Blood Moon, though I don't think we're going to get that tonight. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys caught uh, the last episode. If you didn't, you might want to go catch that first because uh, we spent that episode building... Uh, our little horde base cage here. So it's based upon, um, you know, a previous designs that I've used. Uh, I'm not the one that actually invented this idea with the poles, but I've used it in Alpha 19 uh, to great effect. And um, we're going to try it also here for Alpha 20 and see if it works as well. Uh, we did have a zombie come in when we were building this and they did path across here. So I think it's going to work okay. Um, if you did not catch the episode basically on the other side of these walls there's a gap um and so the the building is supported but it's supported by plates um and these two uh poles here so there there isn't a place for zombies to stand and then just beat on the wall to get to us so it's pretty much going to encourage them to come here the only thing i'm not 100 percent certain about is whether or not they're going to be able to crawl through these holes um the holes are partially blocked by these poles so we'll see how things go and hopefully we'll survive okay so let's do this uh we're primarily going to use our knife in our bow tonight uh, just because i don't have a lot of um ammo you know to use guns with and um are you bleeding you must be and hopefully everything will go well uh, my two poles in front of me are nice head um our concrete and I have a little bit of concrete in my inventory to keep those repaired so I'm expecting things to go well but uh, you know time will tell of course so so far so good uh, by the way we if you look at my experience bar we're about halfway to the next level and uh, we have no levels so hopefully we pick up at least one maybe two levels tonight and we'll see how how that goes too Okay, so let's just touch this up a little bit. So far, so good. And they're pathing, uh, doing exactly what I had hoped that they would do. Using our knife and getting our bleeds on these guys. I have, I took another point in sexual Tyrannosaurus too, so we're a little bit better in that regard. And so, you know, hopefully it'll be a smooth night and it'll just pretty much just be me stabbing zombies in the forehead. Ow, he did tag us. We have to be really careful about getting hurt because I have no bandages. I have no pain pills or anything like that. So we do have to, you know, watch that. Off with his head. <laughs> I love that. Oh, watch out there, G OG. You got to kind of watch out for their swings. Uh, you know, we do have that point in... Um, well, look at you up there on the roof. I didn't want to stay up there, did he? Uh, we do have that point in, you know, the heal in healing factor, so we have very slow passive healing. But, you know, let's just be careful here. Maybe we use our bow a little bit, too. What I should do is bleed him and then bow him. That's what we should do. The nice thing about these poles, too, is they can't all just group up um, and start banging on the, the bar here. Most most of the time they fall through. Usually one of them can stand there, and that way you can stand there and hit the one, but the rest of them, you know, just fall through. It's funny that they climb up on top there, but is he going to stay up there? All right, now he seems to be staying up there. So, oh no, he just jumped down. They don't like to. They don't like to be up there apparently. <laughs> All right, let's do a little touch up here. We got to make sure these poles stay in good shape as well. All 
This knife has a little more reach than I gave it credit for, too, so there is that. Nice. Our first loot bag. Oh, wow. That's some nice loot. And it actually gave us a bandage, which I think we're going to take now because you guys know what I always say. One bandage in the hand is better than two zombies in the bush or something like that. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> All right. Let's just see what... Oh, I guess he jumped off. All right. Yeah, they don't like it up there, which is fine with me. I don't really necessarily want them up there. And that's our vulture killing platform. Let's just do a little touch up here. A little bit down in here. But yeah, the, everything's holding up good so far. All right, you guys. Well, I think that um, I think this is gonna be a pretty smooth horde night. Um, you know, it's only, it's a vanilla horde night seven anyway, so they're never really that bad anyway. So I think what I'm gonna do is what I usually do once we know the horde base is gonna work well. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and do some time lapse and put on some awesome music for you guys to listen to and enjoy the rest of the horde night. I will of course keep the camera running in case, um, you know, something real crazy happens. But uh, otherwise, yeah, we should be good. All right, I'll see you guys in the morning. If I'm not mistaken, I think we just killed the horde. It's only 12.15. Wow. <laughs> that was like smooth as a baby's butt. I did get thumped a couple of times in succession. My health got really low just with those really quick attacks that they do. So I had to kind of back off and be even more careful. But wow, that just went exceedingly well. Okay, um, yeah, I think I think we're done, you guys. We are done. Uh, we did get a level out of the deal. Uh, I am going to definitely have to come up with a better way to get out of here. Why don't we just do this for now? 
And um I think I think this was a roaring success. <laughs> My goodness. Okay. That, that, I, again, that went just way better than I even planned it to. Cool. Okay. Well, there you go. Fortnite 7 in the bag. Totally in the bag. Um, I guess what we'll do now is go back to the base. And, um, I mean, there isn't really anything to repair either. You know? We'll just keep that there for now. Just have to remember to jump up and then push in uh, to get in there. Yeah, I mean, there's like just no damage. Nothing we have to worry about. Uh, let's check our ramp down here. Any of this take any damage at all? Uh-uh. All right. Well, there you go. If we have uh, concrete by Horde 14, then we'll upgrade this to concrete. If we don't, um, I'm going to... I'd like to line the whole pit, actually, with cobblestone. Uh, especially this front wall, because this, you know, this is really critical here that that pathway stays uh, sound. And, yeah. <laughs> was not expected it to be over that fast. We done good. We done good. All right, I'm going to go back to the house. Probably just hang out there for the rest of the night. And then I'll bring you guys back in the morning. And then, yeah, we're going to go out questing because we are just really good to go here. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, it is the next morning. And we're going to go out and do this next quest that we have to do. Uh, so I am currently making our first iron fire axe in there. We are hungry after the horde night, so we're going to eat these three cornbreads and we'll drink some red tea. And I'm taking the money with me just in case. Hopefully we'll find when we're out and about uh, another vending machine. Um, we'll go check the trader's vending machine too, of course. And let's see. I think what we'll do is uh, let's turn these two into some more red tea. I need to grab some uh, water too. Uh, oh yeah. So we'll let the, those go. I'm just going to drink this right now. And put that back in there. And that back in there. Okay. Let's take off. So yeah, we're going to run down to the trader first and check the food. And then after that, we'll go do the quest. We got business guide right there. Right in the noggin. Didn't kill him, though. Come over here, Bubba. Oh, he wants to go to the door. Oh, he wants to go there. Oh, yeah, that works, too. All right, give us our arrows back, dude. All right, let's go get some food. Damn it. I keep forgetting the trader doesn't open till 6. Why not? Why the hell doesn't that guy get up early like everybody else? I don't understand. <laughs> uh, okay, so... One thing that happened, like, literally the next day after I built this horde base and then did the horde was they nerfed uh, the plates and um, the bars and stuff. So they're no longer as the same strength as the their whole counterparts, which is really the way it should be. Um, so I, I guess I didn't bring my hammer with me to check and see exactly how badly those were nerfed. But um, hopefully, you know, this base will still hold up for us as time goes on and you know we continue to upgrade it so well all right so the trainer's not open yet i don't want to stand around for an hour another hour not doing anything so let's just go get going on our quest and then we'll you know we have to come back and turn in anyway so then we'll do our thing there i might stop off at that other vending machine first really quick though it's kind of the wrong direction but we'll see I think we checked this one and it's not, yeah, it doesn't work. Now we can take it apart for steel, but we don't need to do that right now. The donut place is where the other vending machine is. Let's, yeah, let's go over there. Yeah. 
There we go. Okay, so let's take this and this and this. Uh, I don't actually want those stones. I'm going to chuck those, easy enough to make, and going to chuck those. Then we'll save the lamb rations for later. That gets us set up really nice with food and water for a while. Okay, let's head over to the quest. Nice! Take all that stuff. All right, we are here. We do have a Ronnie McDonough over there and a soldier a little further out that way. They might leave us alone, I guess. So this is a clear quest. I'm a little bit concerned about those guys, but I guess we'll just wait and see what happens here. Okay. Sounds like there's someone right over here. They might be on the other side of that wall. Oh, he's one of our victims. Okay. Oh, yeah. Shit. Oh, are you stuck, buddy? Oh, not now. Okay, run around this way. I don't want to wake that other one up. I missed. Shit. Don't have a lot of room to work here. I don't want to run way out there because those guys are out there. All right, let's uh, just see what's going on out here. He's like really running all the way around now. What? Oh, he can actually get up here? Really? Can he? He seems to think that he can. This might not be a bad place to fight these guys. Now they're just getting in each other's way. Alright, he's down. Oh shit, he's feral. Whew. <laughs> uh, this, this, and this. That, I think we're just going to scrap that for plastic. I don't care about the 
Yeah, there's stuff there. Now, we can actually safely kill that soldier from up here. We should get him out of the way just in case he becomes a problem later on. Give him some shotgun shells. Oh man, this thing takes so long to load. <laughs> I don't know if it's any worse than the blunderbuss was though. Seems like it's longer than the blunderbuss, but I could be wrong about that. These guys are tough. Hey, we're getting... Darlene's attention. All right, we got him. Good. Right in the noggin. That didn't kill her. Yeah, this is a fantastic spot to fight zombos. They just kind of derp out here. I already looked in there. All right, so let's get back to business here. So we got this guy. Woo, look at that. Headshot. He did. Uh, actually, I'll take those. Uh, no, I'm not going to take those. Okay, I've done this place before, but I can't remember how we get in here. Uh, there's a vulture. Is that the only vulture? Oh yeah, this is how we get up. And yeah, we might as well get the feathers and bones. Make sure everything's loaded here. That could be two. Yeah, there are two vultures up here. Oh no, those are zombos. Um, how about if we have some fun with these? Oh, that's right. We gotta light them now. Burning and bleeding, baby. Burning and bleeding. Okay. Dispatch those guys. Now, when we jump down in here... I'm not sure if we can get back out or not, so let's put that there for the moment. Anybody in here? Nope, there's a toilet. We can't open the door, though. All right, I see a Zeke down there. Let's uh, wake him up. Oh, shit. I didn't bring anything to repair these with. I left my hammer back at home, thinking I don't need a hammer. And yeah, we could have used one. Okay, so I guess that means we just got to break this. Okay. 
hear more sleepies. There's one off to our left. Right there, Ronnie McDonnie. Oh man, we almost kept him from hitting it. Let's just keep this in here. Okay, there's a yellow zombo dot there. So behind the counter. Nice, two mega crushes. Some more goldenrod, we'll take it. And those used to be leather seats, or maybe they didn't, I don't know. If there's a zombo back there, don't think they can directly get to us. Let's just make sure there's nothing else out here. I think we're good, okay? Everything's good there. All right. Can't wake anybody up. Take all that. There's some food piles and stuff in here, too. Um, There is a trash thing in there, but how hard is this to break? Oh, not hard at all. That and that and that. I'm not going to take the clay. Don't want that. There we go. Got the attention of two Zikaroos. All right. We might arrow and take bleeds. Me too, Nurse. Nurse Ratchet. I just don't feel right about calling her Nurse Nancy anymore. I don't know. It's just not the same. Return to Trader. All right. That's it. That was easy. Let's get the loot skis out of here. More Mega Crush. Uh, yeah, yeah. I might take those. I don't know. We'll see. Probably we'll end up not taking them just because of encumbrance reasons. Come on, give me some food. There we go. There's a purse up here. With some dollar dollar bills, y'all. Um, I guess we could take that and scrap it, and we are keeping those. We don't want these. Um, let's eat this now, because we need to. And scrap that. I'm going to check one thing of paper. Um, kind of don't want to get rid of anything else. Nope, not taking that. And here's the fat loots. M yo initial. More food. Eat it now. Get some nutrition and keep our inventory as clear as possible. Oh, no, don't don't break that. Open it. Ooh. Nice. Okay, we're gonna put those down there. And we're going to take these back with us when we get a full set of scrap armor. I'll probably start wearing it at that point. Okay, so we are still encumbered. I think I'm going to chuck, yeah, two of those makes us a cornbread. Oh, you know, we can eat it straight up. Let's just do that. Let's just do that. This I'm going to chuck. Easy enough to get. Um, Let's have one of these just to get our hydration up. Make our food last a little bit longer. And uh, I am going to chuck those. Okay, we're still encumbered, but 
not terribly so. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Man, what it you got, man? My lucky day. Thank you. I already have a helmet like mod. We might do some bar brawling later on, so I think we'll take that. And we get 800 dukes and 3,000 XP. And here we go. Look at that. Woot. All right. So we are done with tier one, ladies and gentlemen, and we get the bicycle. 2,500 dukes is nice too, but that's what we're taking. All right. Special jobs, opening trade routes. I have a Trader Gin to the north. You the man. All right. That is exactly what we needed to have happen. So that we have a bicycle to get around in uh, with a little bit of storage. Uh, let's eat that. Uh, or not eat that, read that. Use this and use both of these. Fantastic. I didn't realize I was that close to being done. Maybe, I don't know, do you have to not do 10 anymore quests? How many have we done? We've done... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I guess you tier one complete. I guess you only have to do eight now. Is that right? Am I reading that right? All right, awesome. Oh, I can't put it there because it's trader territory. Yep. There we go. Look at us and our bad selves. This is a a pretty important step up for us. Because now we can outrun Zombos and we have more storage when we're out looting. So this is fantastic. All right, you guys. Well, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We had a great horde night and then went out and had a successful loot run and finally got our bicycle. So really good stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go here. And in the next episode, we will go out and probably do this head to trader so we can get into tier two and keep having fun in the game. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.